real quick. Okay, David Banner's hanging out with us, Sway in the Morning, Shay 4-5. Go ahead. You want to mention something about This is very important. Let me tell you what's happening to rap right now, and I'm fucking sick of it. And I want to say this. It's these little motherfuckers who ain't even from our culture. Mm-hmm. Who not even from, not just black or white, but not even from hip hop culture who had these fucking blog sites, right? What they do is, let's say if you say something in a song, they will interpret your song. How in the fuck would you don't know me, bitch? How mm-hmm. can you say what my song is about? Mm-hmm. You take it and you put, you start some shit on the blog, then you get all these followers and, and, and all these people that's giving you money to put up their banners and shit because you starting shit in the black community. Then something real happens. Mm-hmm. Then you report that. You get more money off that because we live out the shit that you start for free. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know the old David Banner. What if I would have went and done the shit that you know that I'm capable of doing mm-hmm. with my crazy motherfucking ass? Mm-hmm. Then my life is over. I'm in jail. Mm-hmm. The same. I wrote a song that all my favorite rappers are either dead or in jail. Mm-hmm. All these motherfuckers start all this beef. Then they sit back and report it and get money off of it. Mm-hmm. Then they turn around after that and talk about how stupid we are. Mm-hmm. I'm sick of these little blog site motherfuckers. I'm gonna catch next time you say something about me, I'm gonna come see your little ass behind the keyboard and the shit that you want us to do to each other, I'm gonna do to your bitch ass. What about that? David Banner. What wow. about that? Because they Banner. starting this shit, dude, and 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 and, and folks, same thing happened with Park and Big. Mm-hmm. They I, I know this, this one place in particular, they started that shit. East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, not expecting. Niggas to be real street niggas. Mm-hmm. Then motherfuckers died. Then they want to do all these memorial sites and all this shit to get more advertisement and shit like this. We getting played like motherfucking monkeys. Mm-hmm. And niggas is playing into that shit. So just to be clear, when you made the song Swag, it wasn't about Krayshawn. It wasn't about V Nasty. It wasn't about them per se. It wasn't about them per se. It was about the fact of what we accepted. Now, yeah. that did happen because I'm going to tell you what actually happened. What made me write the song is the same type of sites that I'm talking about. I sit up and I was watching all these dudes like make excuses. Like some shit, even if you feel it, there's some shit that I feel that I just won't say Mm -hmm. because it's more detrimental to our people. If I said it, I may feel it. But for us to even say that it's cool, like even if you really feel that, like I'm I'm like, come on, like that's not even worth it for our kids to hear that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like with the V Nasty situation, do you think, because I'm looking at this situation and Mm -hmm. her, you know, her stance on it is, this is how I grew up. This is what I grew up around. It's all I know. All my friends said it. I lived in these areas. Do you think she just needs some education? Well, she going to get. Do you think someone needs to kind of pull her to the side and fill her in on how things, because she's young. Well, you know, she she's not necessarily that educated. Maybe she lacks direction. This is what I'll say, dude. We've had a million people to come through our culture and have lived the same situations that we live. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We got we 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 got a million people. You know, we even the network that we own right now. You know what I'm saying? People have come through and respected our culture, regardless of what environment they lived in. That was the one thing that as 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 black people that everybody always respected. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what we do, there are things that we can do better as black people. Oh, but we, we do some ignorance. Yeah, yeah but we have but we have to handle that um, <laughs> in, 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 inside of us. We got Wolf. We got M. We got all these great people who have come through our culture who are men, mm-hmm. who are men. That, that respected that code. That's always been an underlying code. And for us to come out and relinquish that, like, come on, dude. Yeah. Like, what? What? again, it goes back to what do we stand on? Right. It's, it's just something, like, because she, she's going to capture a lot of people's imaginations. Krayshawn got a nice movement going. It's just something worth you actually sitting down behind closed doors and having a conversation with her no, about. No, I, I ain't having no conversation with her. Because she called, she, she said my name. Uh-huh. Like at the end of the day, I'm still a grown man. I don't have nothing to say to her. I I, I wish her the best, but like I I just don't I don't get down like that as a man. Like I don't I don't have nothing to say to her. Like because as a woman, before she made that decision, she should have came and talked to me. Because think about it, if I really got a problem with you, I will say your fucking name. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I will come to see you. I know where you stay. Mm-hmm. Like that's the thing is you you know my people mm-hmm. in that city. Yeah. I know where she stays. Mm-hmm. So if I want, if, if, if that was something that I really wanted to do, I would literally go and see her. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not that rap nigga that sit around and talk shit. I'm not going to tell you that I'm coming. I'm not going to rap about it. I'm going to show up in your fucking house. Mm-hmm. But like the thing is, it's not worth it. I, I did what I had to do for my people. I don't care about her. 
I don't care about nothing but my people. Mm-hmm. And if you fall within that rank, regardless of what color you are, if you fall in the same social situations, then I want to say something. And then I'm done with this. If you so fucking hood, I want to see you in the hood helping my people. Hood is being more than degrading our fucking culture. I want to see you out there giving out toys. The next time somebody gets shot in Oakland, I want to see you there. That's how she can prove to me that she hood. Mm -hmm. Not doing the negative shit, what people already think that's negative about black people. We do enough of that shit ourselves. We don't need nobody to help us do that. If you really that hood, I want to see you stand up about something that's real. That's what would make you more hood than David Banner. Go to Chicago when somebody get killed. Kill. Be in Atlanta when a, when an when a 80 year old um, black woman gets killed by the motherfucking cops. Let me hear you say something about more than something than, than this dope and all this shit that's detrimental to our motherfucking hood. If you really love black people and you really grew up with black people, let me see you do do something more than, 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 than publicize the negative parts of our fucking culture if you so motherfucking hood. Let me see you on the front lines of some real shit. David Banner, 888 Shay 45, Sway in the Morning. Nigga. Wow. David Banner. Have you ever seen?